Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 onwards come to me repeat after me come to me come to me all you that are weary all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens and are carrying heavy burdens and i will give you rest and i will give you rest verse 29 Take my yoke upon you. Take my yoke upon you. And learn from me. And learn from me. For I'm gentle. For I am gentle. And humble. And humble. In heart. In heart. And you will find rest for your souls. And you will find rest for your souls. Verse 30. For my yoke is easy. For my yoke is easy. My burden is light. My burden is light. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a very powerful word of God. The Lord says, come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, I will give you rest. Now, all those who are carrying heavy burdens, disturbance, heaviness of their workload, responsibilities, and many problems after problems, the Lord is telling you, come to me, I will give you rest. And he says, take my yoke upon you. When I, when I, was, when I used to read this Bible passage, I used to wonder why did Jesus tell us to take his yoke upon us? We are already carrying our own yokes and it's very heavy for us to carry. Now he's asking us to carry his yoke too. It is too much. But when we understand the meaning of this Bible passage, it gives you a consolation. What is that meaning? Take my yoke, yoke. The word yoke in Greek language, it is used as zygon. That means a wooden yoke which is clubbing two animals those of you know who how the yoke works this yoke is tied to two animals two ox oxen so so that is how the farmers use so yoke means there are two animals the special yoke the word used here is for two animals that means Jesus is telling us already one side I am there and then take the other, other side position all your burdens and all your heaviness I will carry my on my shoulder so that you will not feel the weight of the yoke on your shoulder in case if you want to take rest in between you do that because the other side is on my, my shoulder if you carry it alone, you will not proceed. You cannot go further. So take my yoke means take one side. One side I am there, the other side you take. Don't carry your yoke alone. The Lord is telling us. That is why he said, all those who are carrying heavy burdens means all those who are carrying the yoke alone, come to me, I will give you rest. Why? I will carry your yoke. The other side, you keep, just keep it on your shoulder and you will not feel the weight of it. That is why he says the last word, my yoke is easy. My yoke is easy and my burden is very light. Because the majority, the heaviness of the yoke I am carrying on my shoulder, the other side, you can just keep it on your shoulder. You won't feel heaviness. You won't see the burden. You won't experience the burden. That is why he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My dear brothers and sisters, you must have heard this word of God many times. But the depth of this word is very powerful. Let us repeat with lots of love in our heart. Let us repeat this word of God. Come to me. Come to me. All you that are weary. All you that are weary. And are carrying heavy burdens. And are carrying heavy burdens. And I will give you rest. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Take my yoke upon you. And learn from me. And learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and my burden is light my dear brothers and sisters is a great consolation for all those who are carrying heavy burdens be tied to the yoke of jesus one side he is on carrying it on his shoulder the other side just keep it on your shoulder and be united to him you will never be worried you will never be burdened. Everything is going to be easy.